the day has finally come, February 1st, Harry Styles' birthday. Harry Edward Styles is 24 years old. My son, my baby. It's been since 1994. Like, no one understands why I get so emotional over this. Like, anybody hearing me make this video right now is like, what the fuck is wrong with her? Listen, it's been a day. It's only like, I'm not even wearing a watch right now. It is only like 11.30. And I'm already done. I should have literally skipped class today because I was not feeling it. But yeah, so today is Harry Styles Day. It is no longer Thursday, it is Harry Day. So I will correct my teachers if they say it is Thursday. That being said, there are more Harry topics to discuss. So without further ado, here is the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm in college, so that means I'm not able to keep up on the news as much as I could have if I was just at home, not taking classes. Yeah, no school. That'd be great. So because I really haven't been on top of the news, I'm not really sure on a bunch of details, but all I know is that Harry performed with Fleetwood Mac recently, and it's kind of sad that I do not know the day that this happened. I just screenshotted it. So guys, when I got these pictures, I was just quaking all over the place because Harry looks so good in every single picture, and I know that I say this all the time. Maybe I'm biased, I don't know. But Harry just has this glow to him. I think it's the husband glow. But just him performing with Fleetwood Mac, that is just so iconic. He's done it before, and I just think it's very underappreciated. Just thank you, Fleetwood Mac, for inspiring so many in the music community, and especially many of the artists who have played here at the Hall. What an incredible moment. Harry Styles and tonight's Music Cares Person of the Year honoree, Fleetwood Mac, perform The Chain. <laughs> About you guys but Harry just blends right in with them. And then we got this video of Harry after on the street with a bunch of paparazzi and fans around him and I think he dealt with it very well. I love you so much. I love you. Also speaking of Harry Styles getting papped, what do you know? Harry Styles is pictured with Camille Rowe again. I mean, which is fine, because I believe that they're just friends, so if they're hanging out, that's cool. But remember what Harry Styles said a long time ago, and I think maybe Niall Horan as well? They said if you're going on a real date, there will be no paps. They will make sure that there are no paps if it's a real date. So the fact that there were, that means it was obviously just a platonic hangout. So like usual, the Harry and Camille pictures are high quality as fuck, which we don't really need. If anything, we need some high quality ass Larry photos, which will replace the Wellington ones. But guys, remember that picture we got of Harry and Camille like a week ago? Look at the location they're at. People sent me a couple other photos of other celebrities in that same location. Isn't it shady how Kristen Stewart, and I think that's her girlfriend, and then this couple were papped at the same location, same spot, same angle. It's like the same thing. It like literally looks like a stunt. That's why I'm saying that I think Harry and Camille weren't having a date. Not that I even needed confirmation of that and I do not find that to be a coincidence at all. So tell me what you guys think about this whole Harry and Camille Rose stuff because to be honest I'm so over it. Okay, so by now this is probably old news because again, a lot of this stuff happened last week and I am late to the game once again. But basically Daisy was posting a lot on social media, specifically her Snapchat story, and she was referencing Louie a lot. So the first thing she shows is that she was calling her brother Louie and she says, give such good advice. And then she posts this picture of her packing. And this person comments, Daisy is packing her stuff from the LA rental house and people think Louie might be selling it. The only reason he was even using it was Baby Gate, but Freddie's birthday was four days ago and nothing happened. Is this ending? So I will get to that in a little bit because there's been a lot of speculation that Louis is selling his house, which was apparently the uh, Baby Gate stunting house. And then Daisy posts this picture of her when she was younger with Louis, and she says, before life got complicated, love you brother. And Louis responds, love you always, forever proud of you. I... <laughs> right in the feels. This is a whole nother level of sibling goals that I could never get on. 
Going back to Louis selling his house, there were actually a few articles about this, and I don't know if it's true. I feel like Louis would debunk this, maybe because he doesn't want people to get in his business. Obviously, he doesn't want people to know where he's moving. But you know what? This is really not a surprise to me because celebrities move all the time for many different reasons, and usually they own many different houses. But this says One Direction's Louis Tomlinson's List Calabasas Compound. This is the one that Yolanda did an article about and said it was Louis. Then Antis harassed her and said it was Liam's because he'd taken pictures at it. So she changed it and then she changed it back to Louis after confirming with her source. I actually had emailed her at the time to see why she changed it to Liam and she was pretty adamant that it was Louis's house according to her source. Freddie was never pictured at this house, although it's the closest one to him. And a lot of people were also asking, why is Louis moving from the house that's closest to where Freddie is? Like, it almost doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem as convenient. But you know what? It could be for any reason. It goes on to say, the one with the cliff in the pool is the public LA house. Freddie was pictured at that house, which was also the scene of the weed delivery, McDonald's delivery, the fake doctor, and fake lawyer Pat picks as well. Okay, so this news is going way back. I made a video about this a long time ago. I feel like it was like, what, early 2016? I really don't know. I made a video about it. Maybe one of you can go search. I've made a video about everything that's been going on in this fandom. So this is old news. So if you guys are like new to the fandom, this probably makes no sense to you. But for anybody that's like been here since like what? 2010, you will definitely know what this is about, but it's like a lot to go into. And this person says, what do you make of them putting that info in Variety, a trade publication? I would have thought it was more suited for people. And of course, they had to mention his arrest. So it's clearly the usual suspects behind the article. And this person replies, well, as one Anon suggested, it could be because they want to sell it and get top dollar for being a famous house but this is the house that's closer to Freddie. At one point, they even had some article about Louis moving everyone in there, which of course never happened. And this person says, but he doesn't actually live in the other house. It's the public stunt house. If he were actually, you know, ending business in LA and moving somewhere else, he would sell the private one. Maybe Louis is leaving LA. And this person responds, I mean, that house wasn't exactly private because we found out about it ages ago, but it was way more private than the current narrative house. So I'm very skeptical because that's one step closer to not having ties to LA. So wow, that was a lot to read. Kind of confusing, I know. If any of you can dumb this down a little bit more, please explain it in the comments to people, especially the ones who are new to the fandom. So yeah, I'm just gonna be bluntly honest right now. Because I do not know Louis personally or his life, we can only speculate. We really don't know why he's moving, if he actually is. We don't know if he's actually moving out of LA or another part in LA. But I mean, as of now, Louis is finishing up his album right now in the studio. He even tweeted about it. He says, grinding away in the studio, feeling really good about what I'm writing, keeping that shit real and honest. So I feel like since he's writing and he's in the studio, I think the studio he goes to is in LA or like around that area. So it wouldn't really make sense if he completely moved out of that area because now it's just less convenient for him. But if you guys know more about this, please leave it down in the comments because I really want to know more about this. But also regarding Louis' tweet, I am really glad that he's being more public about um, being honest and real in his music. Like, we've already known this, but it's cool that he keeps saying it as a reminder to people. Like, I can't wait for his album because, as he says, it's going to be so honest, it's going to be Louis, the real Louis, that maybe we missed out on on the One Direction albums. Because I don't think Louis was his most authentic self he could be when he was in One Direction. And I think that could also account for the other boys as well. I feel like they all look happier. Speaking of One Direction, this is just some extra stuff I decided to throw into the video because I also think it is very important. So a few days ago, One Direction updated their uh, YouTube channel. Not actually One Direction, but you know, the people who control it. So we haven't gotten a One Direction video on this account in so long because you know, One Direction have been on hiatus, a very long hiatus. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. So the video they posted was One Direction, One Way or Another, Teenage Kicks, live at the Brit Awards. So obviously an old video, so a lot of people were freaking out like, why is this posted now? Why is it an old video? What is happening? <laughs> So a lot of people were thinking like, oh my god, is One Direction coming back because they posted this? Or maybe they just wanted to see how we'd react. I personally think that they posted the video on the page to see if One Direction fans were still alive. Like if we still cared about them as a band. And if we reacted enough to it, they'd be like, okay, maybe One Direction should come back. That's just my speculation. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe it meant nothing. But if that was the reason, I think it's actually very smart. Because literally guys, the last video they posted on their account was the History music video. And that brings back a lot of flashbacks. Ugh, good times. 
And now we're gonna switch over to Liam. Yes, I don't really talk about him a lot on this channel because as you guys know, I mainly just talk about Louis and Harry. So I'm sorry if you guys are diehard Liam fans. So basically, as we all know, Liam has a song called For You from the 50 Shades soundtrack. It is an amazing song. It's probably one of my favorites so far. And we got some clips from the actual music video of Liam like flying in the air and it looks amazing. And I'm just gonna say it, like I just don't know how Liam looks good doing anything like in any position. <laughs> Ugh, oh, sexual innuendo. So again, I just think Liam looks a lot happier. If you follow Liam on his Instagram story, you can definitely see how he's being himself. He's very happy. Not only is Liam working on new music, having music videos, etc., etc., he was also on Jimmy Fallon last night. I don't know if you guys watched it. I didn't watch the whole thing, but he had a great performance with Rita Ora. The stage was amazing. The effects were amazing. They looked amazing. Everything was amazing. And just the fact that it was Jimmy Fallon, that just makes it so much better. So yeah, they sounded great as usual. Great effects. The whole performance was just amazing. And I just think Liam needs a little bit more recognition than he usually gets. Because, I mean, Liam was on Jimmy Fallon. I feel like no one talked about it. But if Harry was, everybody would be talking about it. And I'll even admit, sometimes in my videos, I seem a little too nonchalant when I talk about Liam and Niall. But when it's Harry and Louis, I'm like, ah. But I'll say it again. It's because I'm predominantly a Harry and Louis channel. That's why. It's not that I don't care about the other boys. There is just a lot more news with Harry and Louis. A lot more drama and conspiracies. All my viewers who have been watching me know that. So I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain it. Anyway guys, that is all the news for today. If I missed anything, just leave it down below because I know I probably did miss something. Again, happy birthday Harry. I know you're definitely not watching, but it would be cool if you were. I just can't believe he's 24. Like, I remember when Louis turned 24. Like, <laughs> I can't. But anyway guys, write all your thoughts down below. And like always, I make a new video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>